Hey everybody, I posted a video about the blue potato earlier today when we didn't know what to do with it. Well, they figured it out. So now this video is going to be how to turn your blue potato into a blue potion. If you don't have your potato, it's in Ursula's house and we had discovered that you can put it in this pool in the mines. Well, you're actually going to want to go and get it out of the mines if that's what you had done because we need it in our inventory to be able to access these spots. The first place we're going to be going is to Moana's realm and as you can see here, when I tried to access the spot without the potato in my inventory, I was completely blocked as soon as you enter moana's realm with the potato cut to the right here and you can actually now run across this water we're trying to get to this island over here but there is this strange invisible barrier that you kind of have to work around so you can see where i'm almost like running into a wall and i'm just working around it I'm not sure if this is intentionally part of this very trolley potato quest line where they're making things difficult i mean if you guys have done the orange potato already you already know but here it is once you do finally get to the shore it is a blue shell and unfortunately since this is a realm you're gonna have to wall walk your way back to the exit once you finally get out of there fast travel down to the beach because that's where we're gonna get the next two items the first one is going to ariel's area by going and teleporting onto this little boat similar to moana this time we're gonna go to the left and we're gonna work our way across an invisible wall here to go to this side of the shore i've noticed these potatoes today are more difficult than the ones in the past i mean they're always kind of hard but i would just wonder if they're gonna keep getting more difficult over time and how many there's even going to be like what is happening with these potatoes? Once you finally get your way to the shore, it'll be right here. It's a little starfish. Painfully make your way back and then we're gonna go right across into that mystical cave that has all those levels. You know where you were doing riddles and everything and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Once you twirl your way down to the very bottom floor, you can already see that blue splat back there. Again, with the invisible wall, this one's a lot easier. Just make your way back here and you can grab it. All right, friends, only one remaining and it's actually inside of the mines again in the Sunlit Plateau. As soon as you get in, go ahead and take a left to go into these mine tunnels and then you're gonna take an immediate right. Go right again and then you're just gonna follow the curves of the path the whole way through. Don't take any other turns. And wait until you start to see this purple glowing mushroom, which is a great landmark in here. And then this is when you can finally take a right turn. Once you get to the cutoff of the rail track, you'll see to the left, you can actually walk across this night thorn and there is the last blue item. So now we have all five items and all that there is left to do is to go and put them in that same pool from the original potato video. So turn around and then take a left to go back through the mushrooms and then take the upcoming right and you will see those blue glowing gems on the wall where the pool is. Now we're just going to interact there, put our potato back in, and all four of the blue objects we just worked really hard to collect. I don't think the order matters necessarily, and it's going to spit out that blue potion. So now we have a golden potion, a red potion, an orange potion, and a blue potion. By the way, I've seen a lot of your comments that you're stuck at 19 pebbles from the orange um, potato. I think it might just be a glitch. So I will let you guys know if I get any information on that. But if you're 100% sure you picked up all 20 and you have 19, you might just want to wait it out. If this video did help you out, make sure to drop a like so I know to keep up with the potato series. I appreciate it very much and make sure to subscribe if you are new. I've been working very hard on all of my Disney Dreamlight Valley content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're enjoying the update. Have a really great rest of your night.